let's take a look at some of the things um, that I'm trying to do just so you can get just so you can see what can be done I'm not going to show you exactly how to do it okay so here's what we're going to start off with here's my data okay this is kind of the overall look at the data um, this is uh, not something I really even need to look at it's just there just in case I, need, I want to report on something else all right um, and then all I have to do is come in here and populate this stuff with with numbers okay and everything else will kind of calculate out now I just put that number in there because I actually did not make the way in this week I had a vacation day so I was not there um, so I just put in last week's number which is fine uh, for, for this pur purpose and, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the actual um, weights all I'm gonna do is select uh, I'm gonna just jack this up so I can see it better uh, I need to be able to see the weight column which is this column here then we go to the next name and we type in that person's weight um, it tells how much they lost which is uh, two tenths of a pound or two ounces whatever you want to call it the reason I'm showing you kind of this part because I kind of want to show you the steps I have to take to do the data entry um, and he did not show up I'm not sure how to rate him so I'll just leave him the same when we go to, oh one other thing I need to change the only thing I have to change on this form the way I have it set up is I just have to change the date um, to 6-1 and it'll just tell me that it's going to be the sixth week then what I do is print screen region print region function and I just print it print it off that region I do it for that and I do it for these charts the reason I'm showing you this is because I just kinda wanna show the different things that the different ways you can use the data um, even though this tutorial not tutorial but demo I'm calling it a demo um, is more about the uh, Adobe data connection so this is a sheet that's based off all my other data I just basically set this sheet up to make it very easy to take this sheet th into um, Photoshop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say move or copy I'm gonna create a copy I'm gonna create a copy in a new book I'm gonna say save as on this new workbook we're gonna change it to comma separated values dot CSV if you didn't know what that stood for um, I'm gonna pick a location which I think I've been picking I think I've been putting this in here and we're gonna change this to week six just take one of these and then change the five to a six now you do have to do one thing I'm pretty much done with um, Excel now open this up open it with text edit all you have to do when you come in here delete these uh, uh, commas at the bottom it just adds a bunch of extra commas at the bottom for some reason and then go to save a version it's just gonna save pretty much over it I don't know why it calls it save a version but um, it's probably that versioning that the app Apple has in its system okay so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go to Photoshop okay now this is a graphic I set up with a bunch of templated data okay I'm not gonna show you how to set up the templates again if you want to see that comment below basically there's 13 pieces of information here that get populated from the data so what you do is you go import the data okay and I'm gonna import the file shucks desktop weight loss CSV okay hit OK and it should start blinking stuff changing the data um, mine's not gonna change too much because I wasn't there so not a lot's gonna change I'm gonna just say it's good it's good I'm just gonna hit OK because <laughs> you know what I believe it's good then you are going to go to export data sets as files week six. okay this is week six the folders already created so I'm just gonna uh, choose this folder um, when it exports them it, ex it exports them as PSDs which is fine PSDs can be used in Photoshop and whatnot I happen to like PNG files um, 
just in my experience, they give me the least amount of trouble, um, just in terms of compatibility and what I want them to do, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I like PNGs. So basically, this is going through eight people changing all the numbers and names and all that jazz and saving them off as PSDs. All right. I'm just going to close this out. It's done. All right. Then I'm going to go back down here to automate and I'm going to batch. We're going to change the action to save as PNG. This is just an action I created. I want to override the save as command because um, I've noticed like if I don't do that it doesn't for some reason doesn't work right. It saves it, it not, not that it doesn't work right it just saves them in a weird place. So I'm just going to choose that folder and I'm going to choose this folder. So it's going to put them in the same folder. Document name all that stuff you can set up the way you want. I'm going to hit OK and it's just going to go through them bing ba bing ba bing ba bing through all eight graphics and um, just convert them from photoshops to pings. That's pretty simple. Okay, so really we are done. Now, if I wasn't talking through this and explaining some things, uh, this whole process literally probably takes me from pulling the, the information out of my email, because I usually email to myself the weights, plugging the weights into the master form, and um, then exporting that information. It takes me probably um, like two minutes. Uh, it used to take me probably around um, a half hour or so to do all this. And that may not seem like a huge, huge thing, but do that every week and it gets a little annoying. Um, there's another thing I'm going to do here. Those images that I saved um, on the desktop, I'm going to go ahead and move those into the folder, the proper folder as well. That's this, this, and this. All right. And actually then I will delete them because I don't need them there. And go back over here. So basically, as you see, I just imported all the files I needed, did it all very quickly. It took almost no time. And all I do is, let me give you an example. Um, you know what? Let me uh, use myself. I'm going to use myself as an example, even though my graphic's not going to change very, you know, substantially because I, I, I didn't go this week. Um, but you just find the graphic here. Uh, sometimes I hate the way Final Cut Pro X works. Drag it down here, and then all I do is I look for the spot where I'm weighing in, and it doesn't even have to be perfect for this particular kind of the way I got this set up. Just do that, drag it there, drag it out here, wait till it goes full screen, pull it back a little, and that's it. And there you go. There's the uh, how to do it. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them and I'll try to answer them. But I feel like this is a super, super fast way to do data entry when you're talking about a lot of different graphics uh, in a lot of different fields you have to fill in. So give it a try.